Hi, I'm Pablo and I'm with Dedrone. At Dedrone, we make technology that helps organizations protect themselves against drone-based threats. In this video, we'll briefly go over our drone detection and security solution. Here, we're looking at Dedrone software called Drone Tracker. Once we log in, we're taken to the main screen where we can see a live situational view of our airspace. On the left side, we see an alert indicator, and it's showing that there are no drones being detected at this moment. In the middle of the screen, we see a satellite view of the secured facility. In this case, we're looking at an aerial view of D-Drone's headquarters in downtown San Francisco. The red rectangle shows the area we're protecting through proactive alerts and countermeasures. In the current state, things are normal and as expected, and no alarms are going off. Now, for this demonstration, we flew a drone from the rooftop of our building. Let's see what happens now from the moment the drone is turned on. Immediately after it's turned on, the D-Drone sensors pick up the drone and the software shows a warning on the left. This is coming from D-Drone's early warning feature, which can detect the presence of drones even before the takeoff. In this case, the drone pilot turned on the drone and took a moment to adjust the settings, survey the area, and think about the flight path. Those are all standard operating procedures. As this happened, D-Drone's drone classification technology is already displaying valuable information about the drone. For example, the make, model, type, and some of its signal characteristics. Now let's fast forward to just before the drone actually takes off. Once it does, the D-Drone software continues to gather statistics on the drone and its flight. The drone is now detected within our red protection zone. Additionally, more sensors are now picking up the drone. In this case, video cameras are recognizing there's a drone in the sky. Notice the red camera icon on the left side of the red rectangle. That's where the camera is mounted. By running the video feed through classification algorithms and our drone DNA database, the software is able to determine the difference between a drone and other objects in the video feed. In the video window on the left, notice the red rectangle tracking the drone as it flies through the air. The red color indicates the software classified the object as a drone and not as a helicopter, bird, or other moving object. As the drone continues to fly, its location and flight path are plotted on the map, and this is possible because the video cameras are integrated into the D-Drone software. For this demonstration, we flew the drone into and out of the protected zone to show how the alerting system updates the user depending on the threat behavior. For example, after the drone leaves the area but is still flying, the alert continues but eventually will time out since the drone left. Just a bit later, we flew the drone back into the protected zone and the alert reset, staying red. As the drone flies around, the cameras continue to record the flight and plot the flight path on the map. At this point, the next step is to notify security personnel and trigger any appropriate alerts. If we've integrated countermeasures into the solution, we can optionally deploy those, but countermeasures are a topic of their own and we'll leave that for another video. So that was a quick overview of the D-Drone solution with our drone tracker software being used with various sensors to detect, classify, and protect against drones. Thanks for watching.